guys right now i am in milan as you know and finally i've got the machine and uh, here here is hair klaus who has got the machine which is in front of me which is absolutely beautiful uh, klaus thank you so much for coming all the way from verona to drop this off and before we go ahead klaus has his own company which rents out lot of machines including the machine which is in front of me and his uh, company is called duty garage so if you guys are coming to europe and are in milan or bologna if you visit the ducati factory come up a little bit if you're near venice and you can rent a uh, trike i'll uh, leave the website description in the video and i am pretty sure you'll enjoy it so klaus can you show us a little bit around uh, with this trike starting with the features please okay tell you for, uh, for the features itself you just said 140 horsepower yeah. mitsubishi 1.5 liter turbo engine which is really really strong and nice to drive here this model comes with a seven gear automatic transmission yes in the sp gear you have also the possibility to change ge gears sequently wow ah, okay you have here um, cruise control yes so if you don't want to control your speed you just put it here and everything goes automatically which is nice on the highways here it's equipped with a sound system yes you have a gps yes. which is over here you can see this bottom here this is heated seats yeah. which is nice in winter and summer certainly we don't need it you have adjustable footrest for passengers you have an adjustable brake here in front which you can see here. this is the adjustable brake okay because we cannot change the distance of the seat we cannot move the seat back but what we can do is we can move the brake back or in front yeah? German engineering and <laughs> certainly as we we don't have um, uh, to shift gears yes. you don't need the clutch yes you just need to accelerate here yeah. and to brake here okay. and the brake goes on all three wheels the same time so you don't have to worry about if you use the front the back brake uh, it's a little bit different than a motorcycle but more convenient more easy obviously and then you've also got this a yeah, car charger we have a, a car charger type and we have a usb a double usb just a second i need to get it a double usb here we have another one in the trunk okay also the trunk is illuminated we have light in if we need so huh? so it's really really everything is for what does the sp do sp is the the sport um gear which changes the gears more quickly yes there is less delay and you have also the option to change gears manually but only in sp oh, can we listen to the sound please certainly i make it on and certainly you have also an alarm system so i need to deactivate the alarm which you hear now i push the brake and now i can start Yeah, it gives it a little Beautiful. bit extra kick. Oh yeah. And uh, can we see the luggage space please? For sure. Here we have a one key system. Yeah. Maybe I can show you also this one first. Uh, with this key you can open here. This allows okay. the passenger to enter easily its position. Yes. You have the battery here and all the fuses. So you don't need any tools to have access to this compartment. Okay. With the same key. Yes. You open here. That's for the luggage. I'll just put it back a little bit. And I so guys, you see all my luggage is already there. And it's bigger than most supercars like Lamborghini, Ferrari. It's got more boot space for sure. So, uh, Klaus, uh, this is pretty amazing, you know. And I can't wait to take this 1100 kilometers loop through uh, the Dolomiti and uh, all those Alpine passes. So keep watching, guys. It's going to be really exciting. So, auf Wiedersehen, Klaus. Auf Wiedersehen.
So here it begins, my road trip in Europe on one of the most unique machines of all times, the Rivaco GT. And although I have ridden quite a few other three-wheeled machines like the Can-Am Spider and the Yamaha Nikon, this strike from Rivaco was different both in terms of size and the overall feel. Riding it on the Italian roads was quite an experience as it takes as much space as a small car on the road but can go as fast as a super sports motorcycle. Well, at least it feels so. After a long flight from Delhi, I landed in Milan last night, picked up the trike and now I'm going towards a city in Italy called Verona, where I'll be visiting the Danese and AGB factory and headquarters and then kick starting my actual ride from there. I have been exclusively wearing Danese riding gear along with AGV helmet for quite a few years now. And for me, it was a great experience to visit a Danese factory here in Italy and see how they make these world class riding gears, which not only save the regular riders like you and me, but also the champions of motorcycle racing, like Valentino Rossi. You can watch the full video of Danese factory too including the visit to Danese Museum and the interview of their CEO on my channel from the link given in the description. So guys, I just came out of the Danese archival place and it was pretty amazing. And over there is the main headquarters where Valentino Rossi and all the races they come and the brainstorm and stuff like that. But right now, as you know, that I'm riding the Rivaco trike, which is here which is 140 horsepower turbocharged and uh, it's been a lot of fun till now I haven't gone to the mountains it's been straight roads from Milan till here but there's another machine in front of me and along with that machine we have two very special people who are actually behind Rivaco and let me introduce you to Mr. Harold I'm sorry I cannot pronounce it correctly yeah so, so you can correct it Hallo, meine Freunde in Indien. Äh, ich grüße euch. Yep. Ich bin finds toll, dass du hier bist. A little und bit. Dass du Rivaco äh, <laughs> okay. testest. My son Paul, he translated. Yeah. Hi. So this is my father Harald Schmidt, founder of uh, Rivaco. Yeah. Um, and he's very glad to speak to your Indian followers and to, okay. to you. And uh, yeah. So my first question is, what does Rivaco mean? What does Rivaco mean? Yeah. Also Rivaco heißt Rennwagen Konstruktionsfirma. So Rennwagen, the German word for race car, and uh, so oh. we the Renn race car construction company. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Nice. But if it's true or if it's a joke, we'll let it up to you. <laughs> if no. this is a race car or not. <laughs> no, I know that that was a lot of fun. Yeah. But uh, as we can see, like from the colors, it's very futuristic, Tron-like, you know. And uh, of course, this guy is here. As it says, e striking. So, this is actually the electric version of this, and this is not in the market yet, right? No, um, it will uh, be uh, launched uh, next year, in 2020. Okay, and you're testing it, correct? It's a testing trike and it's market ready. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, can you tell me how did you found the company? I mean, obviously, your dad did. So we started, my father started 30 years ago in Germany, in Lindla, and um, he started with building traditional trikes, like they used to build them in America. Yeah. And over the years, we've come to uh, construct these modern trikes, modern version of this what? old school trike. What? Okay, how old are you, if I can ask? Uh, I'm 27. So you were not born when no, you started? No, I'm not born. <laughs> I'm not, I wasn't born, no. <laughs> <laughs> but no, my, my question is why? Why did you start? I've always been pure passion with, uh, with vehicles and working on vehicles and constructing vehicles. So it was out of his passion as an engineer, constructing something new and developing the trike to become something like this. Yeah. Nowadays. Well, I hope all engineers they try to develop something like this. Then the world would be a much better place. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Uh, what right now? Uh, can you tell me like what is the difference between this and this? Essentially, besides the uh, it's electric, like in terms of the power and the acceleration mm -hmm. and stuff like that. This is a, a modern um, engine from a car, 1.5 liter, mm -hmm. with a um, with a powertrain from Punch Powertrain in Belgium, okay. our development partner or a t t technical partner. Right. Um, like I said, 140 horsepower, like mm -hmm. you said. And this is an e-drive. Mm -hmm. 
It got uh, 90 uh, kilowatts. Yep. So that is the how much? Around 160, 170? 120 PS, yes. Okay. Yeah. There was something about 200 horsepower uh, trike, yeah. uh, 250 horsepower, something like that. Yeah. We used to build one that was 201 horsepower. That was our maximum. So why did you step so down? Range. We needed to meet uh, new laws, yeah, emission, uh, emission wise. Yeah. But we are working on on the bigger ones uh, right now. So more powerful get, ones. Get powerful, yeah, more powerful. So we get there, back there soon. So tell me, what is zero to hundred on this? A zero to sixty kmph. Four point one seconds to okay. one hundred. Uh, That's uh, and, and that will not reach in on four. this one six six seconds. Six. Okay. So acceleration on this one is crazy. Yes, yes, like why an electric trike? Because the whole world is moving towards mm -hmm. that, or is there anything better than electricity? Electric mobility is the future, we all know, mm -hmm. and especially for uh, markets like uh, India or Asia, it m will be important to have electric mobility too because uh, in the future it will be more and more demanded okay. all over the world. So, and, and we as Trivaco always uh, been a kid of our time, yeah. So we always try to be electric. Uh, macht yeah. mehr Spaß, ne? And the electric one is, is uh, a, a different experience on the trike. Yes. Which is the most important market for you? Except like beside Germany. Mostly USA. Europe. Okay. Yeah. France, yeah. UK, mm. Germany, and uh, the US. Korea. Korea. Okay. Australia. Australia. Oh, okay. So yeah. countries like with big open roads. Yeah. Yeah. But what about Asia? One reason to uh, conquer Asia market-wise is um, like we made this e-trike to be uh, more attractive for the Asian market because we know that in Asia they're one step ahead of us coming to e-mobility mm -hmm. and uh, laws concerning that. Okay. So yeah, Asia, Asia would be the next step for us. Okay. Have you thought of making something which is smaller, like for especially for Asia, for crowded places? Well, the vehicle it itself won't be uh, smaller. Okay. But uh, we can um, modificate it always, and we're planning for China, for example, uh, a vehicle that's not that wide anymore. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So anything else that you want to share with us, take. Yeah. So uh, you just wanted to say how much fun this e-triking is, yeah. even if the sound is missing. Yeah. It's a lot of fun, and it wants to invite you to take a ride on oh, it too. Oh, absolutely. And you know, uh, in India, there are like companies which are coming out with electric motorcycles. Yeah. And they are putting uh, speakers, yeah. so you can download sounds. It's possible, you can have. Yeah. V8, V6. Uh, They've v12, already uh, launched it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, that, that is something, which is, um, of course, with the turbo sound as well in yeah. between. <laughs> yeah. All right, so guys, time to experience uh, the future right now here, and uh, let's do this. That's the Technolib Technologie Partner from Punch Powertrain. It's yeah. a very good company in Europe. Okay. It's produced this powertrain. Okay. So just uh, you see the acceleration. Yes. And uh, how many kilometers you, see, you can still go? And this is the uh, kilometers per hour. So this is showing total kilometers. Yeah. Uh, okay. It can yes. also show how many kilometers it can go. Yeah. Uh, Where is the ladung? Yeah. That's uh, 76 percent. Of the, the battery. battery. And um, okay. And we have. 380 80 kilometer range now. Wow. It's together it's around about 500 kilometers. Oh, so this has a 500 kilometers range. And what's the weight of this? 750 kilos. 750 kilos is it's because of the batteries, of course. And the same amount of space or more. Like uh, yes, yes. Yeah. The same amount same of space. Amount, yeah. Okay. So let's do this, you know, after the Tesla. And this will be my third electric vehicle. <laughs> All right. Okay, you just have to, yeah, push the brake. This is okay. Yeah. Ah. Yes. Yeah. This on D, yeah. and and yes, this. That's it. Yeah, that is it. Okay. The handbrake. Yeah. Electric will always be electrifying, at least in terms of 
the acceleration. Okay, let me do this again. Very nice. And you have to go on and again. Oh. Yeah. And this is 90 kilowatts. Oh, yeah. And you can, uh, like, the range would go down, but we could go to 150 kilowatts. Okay, okay. 